All right, guys, we are live. Oh, Welcome back to another great co-star fan cast. We are back with Jeremy Shada. Jeremy, what's up? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? You guys all excited? You guys having a good time in all your different time zones? Some of mm -hmm. you that are probably like up super, super late right now or really, really early, depending on how you look at it. It's never my uh, never my favorite thing. I'm a I'm like an old man on the inside, you know, like in bed by like ten, and then I sleep in as much as I possibly can. So uh, so thanks for for being on here, everybody. You guys all look great. Everyone looks super pumped, and I know we have a jam packed full house. So in order to get through everybody, I'm going to just jump in with our first participant. Um, right. I am going to try and pronounce this correctly. I think it's Olin. Olin, where are you from? Olin? Oh, I hear you. Hi. What's up, Olin? How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, that's okay. I it's all good to be nervous. It's totally fine. Where are you from, Olin? I'm from the Netherlands. Oh, awesome. 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 What time is it there? Is it, uh, is it pretty late, I assume? Or maybe it's early? It's 2 a.m. Ooh, that's dedication. <laughs> Not only are you nervous, you're tired. That's I fair. I know. Olin, what was your question for Jeremy? Yeah, kind of. My question was, um, what do the paladins do during their free time, either alone or with each other? Ooh, good question. Very good question. Uh, awesome Voltron question to kick it off. What do the Paladins do in their free time? I think they probably all do a little bit of different stuff when they're by themselves, you know? I think uh, Keith is definitely just, you know, goes and kind of broods in a room, you know, as 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 the emo brooders do. Uh, I think uh, Lance probably goes and, and swims. There's a lot of swimming and stuff. He kind of was like a – I think he did a lot of surfing back home, so he probably does any type of water-related sport or anything uh, on, on the castle ship. Uh, and then when they're together, they probably hang out, eat some crazy alien meals, and uh, you know they they probably play a little bit of Monsters and Mana, the uh, the awesome game that we saw in uh, season six. Uh, and then you know then they bicker a lot, so that's that's what they do in their free time. <laughs> I think those are all perfectly acceptable and great free time things to do, uh, oh, right? Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah. Hey, Olin, do you agree? Awesome. Especially <laughs> land surfing. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Yeah, lands will surf everywhere. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We appreciate your question. If only I could surf in real life. Sad day. Right. All right. <laughs> Listen, you get one or the other. You can do it in cartoon life, or you can do it That's in real true. life. That's it. I can do so many things in animation that I can't do in real life. It's great. Right. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, all right, thank you again. Um, we are going to move over to Murdoch. And Murdoch, where are you Murdoch. coming in from today? Uh, hello, I'm from Germany. Oh, hello. Yes, all the way from hello. Germany. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice to meet you, Murdoch. Nice to meet you, and thank you for being here. <laughs> of course, no problem. It's my pleasure. What was your question? Yeah, my question is, sorry if I stutter or something, I'm just oh, kind you're of good. nervous. <laughs> oh, no, you're um, fine, go for it. Okay, thank you. Um, if Lance would date someone, what would be mm. his favorite place to date? Favorite place, great question. I like that. I like that you didn't even ask the who, you just went where. Like, what's the optimal? That's great. <laughs> um, hmm, if he was going to date someone, I think optimal place. Um... I mean, if if he if he had the option, he would probably go back home to uh, the amazing beaches uh, like Veradero Beach uh, and, and Cuba. Back to the surfing thing. I don't know why that's such a big thing, but you know the ocean <laughs> is always pretty. A lot of great sides. Yes, of but course. he's in space, so he's not really you know he doesn't have Earth. Uh, Earth isn't around, so um, he would probably go to the closest um, kind of romantic dinner destination wherever in the galaxy that is. You know, maybe overlooking some crazy waterfall space type thing a lot of you the stars um and then obviously you know i think to get there he would obviously pick up his date and his lion because 
not many guys have a mat you know like a giant magic metal flying spaceship lion thing that's that's pretty good you know that kind of that sets the tone right away you know it's a, a lot yes. of tricks of the trade that lance has and then of course you know at this date location probably somewhere where there's nice views that's that's the best thing to a date you just have to have nice views um then you know he would use his uh his great pickup lines he has many more than i do he's he's much more skilled in the art of uh picking up people than uh than jeremy is in real life <laughs> <laughs> so on earth uh, it would be the beach yeah on earth it would definitely be the beach okay. preferably his beach i think back home in uh, in cuba but yeah the beach for sure okay thank you so much you are thank very you, welcome Murdoch. we appreciate you joining in all the way from germany i know it's awesome <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we're going to scoot on over to Elsa. Elsa, where are you coming from today? Hi, I'm from Italy. I was here last time, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, Elsa, yes, good, you to, were. See good you to see you again. Elsa. I'm not gonna make any frozen Sorry. references. I might've done that last time. I'm not gonna do it this time. <laughs> well, I get it, them every night, so it's not, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, my question is a bit convoluted, so I'm going to read it to you. And I love so convoluted sorry questions. I don't it's going to be the best. <laughs> okay, so we've been team for about three seasons now. Lance steadily feeling isolated from his friends, especially with yeah. Uncle Page becoming this sort of a deal. We know Lance harbors insecurities, thinks he doesn't belong on the team, and the closest we've gotten to Lance ever confessing to this insecurity was to Keith in season three. And I think that uh, it's because it felt much closer to him and that's more comfortable. So now that Kiz is back to the team and self-assured, do you think we'll see a role reversal to this, where Lance was helping and supporting Keith in season three, now it's his turn to support Lance? Oh, good question. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I think that would be, I think that would be super cool. I think that there's a lot of that stuff that definitely, um, will happen in the course of the show. And I, and I, I'm always a personal fan of that type of stuff in the shows where there's like definitely like role reversals. Um, and, and I love, I mean, any good show, you have a character when they start out, that's, that's here. And then obviously they have, they all have their arcs and they got to kind of get to over here. Um, and so I think for, with Lance, you definitely, his is, I mean, every character definitely has a very specific, I think journey that they're on. Um, but Lance, I think, uh, specifically, yeah, definitely. Like you were saying that kind of that insecurity, or that uh, that want to be kind of something greater, but not really know how to, I guess, do that at times. And then, you know, in those kind of really honest moments, um, him being like, you know, I don't know where I fit in all this, you know, like there's people, I think he thinks there's people that are more qualified at times, but I think him kind of really deep down knowing his place and kind of not always being um, so self-confident at times is kind of actually a, can be a strength when he knows that, you know, there is people that are better at him than other things. And it's, it's, about, it's all about that teamwork. <laughs> Um, and so I think, yeah, that'd be, I th I'm trying to remember what we have coming up next. I think that there definitely is a little bit of that. And I feel like we saw, maybe not specifically with Keith, but I think even in, um, in season six with like Alora after, well, spoilers, if you haven't watched season six yet, awkward. Um, <laughs> there's a, after, I think most of you probably have by now. It doesn't take very long to binge it. Um, you know, yeah. after the whole low tour ordeal, I guess we'll say, um, you know, Alora's kind of at a low point and I think Lance kind of really encourages her and, and strengthens her so i think that's a cool place to be a couple seasons later after the um after being at that similar place um i think you mentioned in season three where he doesn't really know where he fits in and kind of keith encourages him so yeah awesome if that thank made you any so sense. much Elsa. it might not have oh. <laughs> convoluted answer thank you a convoluted question we're a good pair yeah thank you so I mean, much also i appreciate it <laughs> bye and jeremy i'm bye. really glad that you didn't you do the Elsa. frozen I'm really glad you didn't I do the know. frozen joke. I, I thought I was you using let it go. all of my being not to make a frozen joke. So it was it was, I, you know, really using the willpower there. I know. I think you should just let it go. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If you weren't gonna do it, I was. So mm. anyways, uh, thank you all for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you for putting up with my pun. Um and next up we have Nikki. Nikki, where are you coming from today? Nikki? Maybe Hello, not. Nikki. No, Nikki, did you decide that you wanted to come maybe go next? All right. We are 
Um, we'll go to, let's see. Right, we'll come, we'll oh, come and, back to Nikki. <laughs> we will. We'll come back to Nikki, and we're going to yeah. go to Sarah. Sarah, where Sarah. are you coming from today? Oh, in the Middle East. It. Oh, in the Middle East. Wow, when, when Middle East? Yeah. Uh, it's it's next to Syria. <laughs> uh, where are you? Where? Lebanon. Like, um, like it's it borders Syria and it's next to Jordan oh. in the Middle okay. East. So if you go all the way to North Africa and then just keep going right, you'll bump into it. <laughs> so if you fly to <laughs> North Africa bad. and then you just turn right mm -hmm. after you get off the plane, you'll go right into it. Yeah, you can actually just drive. Uh, <laughs> you just, you just start actually, walking right, and when you get to North Africa, and you'll you'll get there. <laughs> yeah, you can walk through Egypt and. <laughs> awesome. It's awesome. Well, well you were definitely ways away from me. So nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, uh, I promise I'm not a like a terrorist or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, you don't seem very scary to me. You seem like a very nice, yeah. awesome, cool person. Thank you. <laughs> what was your question, Sarah? Um, mine is, who missed Keith the most when he left Team Voltron? Did Lance miss him at least when he left? Because I know that at one point they had been considered friends. So yeah. I'm kind of curious on who would have missed him a lot and if Lance did have miss him because I think on the inside he kind of finds some friendship in him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I definitely think. I mean, on a base note, I think they probably all missed him for sure. I mean, when you when you're that close to somebody on and you're you're a team and you're kind of dealing with all these crazy things they have to deal with, I think um, you kind of get that bond. And they're all obviously like living together for a long period of time and in these crazy situations. So I think they all kind of grow close, and I think they've all missed him. Um, Lance definitely does because I think they're, I think especially the beginning, they're more like. Uh, I mean, they're like frenemies. They're like working together, but they don't like get along that well, kind of clashing personalities. Um, and there's like, especially Lance on his side, there's like that jealousy at the outset, you know, because Keith was kind of like better than him coming up through in the, in like the flight school um, and had that like connection with like Shiro, who to Lance is like this amazing like role model of a, you know, this just like legend basically. And so he wants kind of that same like closeness, I think with Shiro as well. So I think at the beginning, there's like that jealousy a little bit. But then as they start working together, you know, um, they kind of start understanding each other's personalities and they, and they, did do, uh, they do grow a lot closer as, uh, as like really close friends. Um, and then when Shiro is gone for a while and they have to, you know, there's a little bit of switch up in who's piloting what lions um, and Keith starts, you know, becoming obviously the leader. Um, and I think they, there's even more of a kind of a mutual understanding there at that point too and, and much more of a friendship and close encouragement. So. I think it definitely affected Lance. I think it's one of those things where like he finally kind of, they finally got really close and like in, as, as friends and as, as teammates. And then like, finally, like when that happens, which is a long, you know, long time coming, then he's suddenly gone. And so there's like that weird kind of like, when you finally get to that point with someone and then they're just, they're gone. It's like a very weird hole. Um, and that's with all of them too. I feel like Lance probably took it pretty hard. Um, I mean, all of them, Alora too, for sure. Um, definitely Shiro also, I think maybe even slightly harder than Lance. I think Shiro a little bit. Um, but yeah, that'd be my best guess. It's not canon by the way, but you know, it's, it's my best guess. I have no idea. That's what I would think. It's okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sarah. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're welcome, Sarah. <laughs> awesome. Up next, we have Bianca. Bianca, where are you streaming Bianca. in from? Oh, I know you're there. Maybe she's I from don't a silent know. country. Yeah. Oh, yes. They don't very. speak from where she's from, I don't oh, think. Wait, I think I heard hello. <laughs> Bianca, was that you? Oh. Yeah, I think. There we go. Hello. Yay! It is you. Hello. It's me. I'm here I, now. I, I come from Brazil. Brazil? Awesome. Nice to meet you, Bianca from Brazil. How nice are you? I'm great and nervous. <laughs> no, that's okay. Well. <laughs> I see you're wearing a nice, uh, I like your baseball, the red and white baseball shirt. Very reminiscent of Ultron. Very nice. Mix, mix Keith and Lance one, there but... a little bit. Yeah. Unintentional, probably. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was. Uh, so my question, my question is actually extremely salty. <laughs> 
Salty, uh, all right. Yes. Salty question. I, Do it. I ask it after she's a six. I was salty. Um, so Lance is feeling more as like a teen um, recently, and season six made it very clear. So um, how do you feel knowing that Lance is always there comforting everyone, but no one is comforting mm. <laughs> uh, Very good question. Um, I think, uh, I think, yeah, I think the season six is a rough season for him in, in, in that department for sure. Um, but, you know, I think as a character, I think it kind of shows uh, the heart really of him uh, in, the, in the beginning of the show. I think he was much more, uh, self-centered for sure. And so I think it's an interesting character arc that, you know, at this point in the series, um, he's usually there for everybody else and is, is trying to comfort and encourage and, and be a good team player. Um, and it shows really his growth throughout the series. And the, the great thing about him as a character in, in that, um, just as a person too, which is a great role model, is just that, you know, there's not always times when you're, you know, encouraging people or comforting people. You know, it's not always that you do that and they reciprocate and do that back but you're not really doing it for those reasons. You're doing it because you're a good friend and you're trying to just do that for someone regardless of if there's a payoff. And so I think that's really where it comes in um, in his character. That no matter what, he would still encourage people and comfort them, even if there's not um, that immediate thing all the time back. But, you know, I think throughout the series, people will realize that. And I think that uh, he will become far less isolated, um, especially coming up in the next uh the next whatever episode drops or such and such and such that I can't talk about. Um, but there, there, obviously we know there's going to be more, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, the next, I think in the next season or seasons, whatever, um, we'll see more of that uh, come to fruition. And yeah, I think that's just his character. You know, he's not, you don't always have to get something in return for, for comforting or encouraging someone. So. Oh God, I hope so. He, <laughs> he will get something in return eventually, though, for sure. I can guarantee that. So. <laughs> Bianca, I can, I can really appreciate your honesty in that, that you were salty. So thank you so much for I your like question. I like saltiness. You don't have to like everything that happens in the show. That's what makes it great. True. It's an emotional roller coaster. True. Thank you again so true. much. Appreciate it. All right. Up next, we are going to go over to Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, where are you from today? I'm North Carolina. Oh, North, Carolina. North Carolina. You're not that far away. Yeah. I'm on the other side of the U.S. True, true, true. My uh, my girlfriend is currently also on the other side of the U.S. She's in Florida, so. <laughs> oh, I love Florida. Florida's great. Yes, I love Florida, too. So my question was, if Lance could send anything to his family, what would he send? Mm, what would he send? Uh, I mean, probably at the very least, like a, a video message being like, yo, I'm alive, guys. I'm not dead. You know, that's probably a good, probably a good first thing to do. You know, when they're like, yo, I haven't seen you in a long, to long time. Where you been? Probably just, you know, a little video message kind of updating them on where he's at, what he's been doing. Um, and then I think he would send them back something... Uh, something cool from space, some little nice space alien souvenir that you probably can't get back home. Um, maybe some really, some like exotic food or something like that, you know? Send some <laughs> exotic food back home, um, some exotic alien food would be pretty cool. Um, maybe some, some exotic food. alien kind of clothing and, and styles. He's like, yo, this is what the people are wearing out in outer space. Check it out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, so I think that's it. I just disconnected something. We're good. <laughs> I think that's probably what to do. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. That's totally I think that's sense. fair. Yeah. Thank you so much, Abigail. Appreciate your question. Yes, thank you, Abigail. <laughs> awesome. We're going to shoot over to Grace. And Grace, where are you coming from today? Grace. I'm at the Fan oh. Expo in Boston. I heard you'll be attending. Fan Expo in Boston. Uh, is yeah. this, this is soon, yes? I think uh, August? No. Yes. August, right? So, yeah. August? Yes. So, yes. Totally. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I will <laughs> I will be there. I will totally be there. So are you going to come see me in August at Boston? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. 
I see you. I see you. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> All right. So my question is, compared to Lance's development in earlier seasons, what's on how he developed in the recent season? And is there anything we should expect further? Mm. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, uh, I think if you've watched, uh, if you've watched season six, uh, the very end, like one of the last things they say, you know, they're obviously heading to a specific place. They're kind of heading back, uh, back to where most of them are from. Trying to spoil it. I don't know how I can't spoil that. With you know, you all seen it. Whatever. Um, yeah, they're heading back to Earth. Um, and I think you know, once they, I don't really can't say what happens once they get there, but you know, I think there'll be some form of kind of cool uh, reunion with Lance and his uh, and his relatives and his family a little bit. Uh, I think it's cool. We'll get to see. A, I think we'll get to see a little bit of um, a lot of you know the, the group that's from Earth at least. I think we'll get to see a lot of them. Uh, they're kind of either people they know back from home and stuff and get to see a little bit into each of their kind of characters before they, you know, got carried on this crazy quest. Uh, and so specifically with Lance, we'll see a lot of that, which is, which is really cool. Um, yeah. And I, I always like seeing kind of the backstory and then the relatives of characters and stuff that you don't get to see a whole lot of. So I think you'll see, at least with him, I think you'll see a lot of that. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Great. Yeah. You guys better make sure you say hi to Jeremy when he's down you guys' way. Right. Yeah. yeah, I see your Voltron shirt. Awesome. I see you. Y'all yeah, excited? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, we have Star, which is pretty much a fabulous name. Star, where are you from? Star? Can I stop for you to see? I, no one knows that song? Right. Yeah. No, no, we know it. <laughs> I feel. Oh, oh there she oh. is. There's Star. <laughs> oh God. Oh, there you go. Okay, the stay with it. I, I switched it up to stay with it. Come every. I just started watching Vulture like last December. Nice, awesome. I am a. This last December, and I never thought this would actually happen. I mean, I am just <laughs> a lonely person from the Philippines. I'm just I'm just a girl from the Philippines, and now it's just, oh god, oh god, I actually have a good time already, but I don't know what should I sing. <laughs> so I'm just going to yeah. ask my question. I'm just going to ask my question. Go for it, yeah, of course. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, okay, so does Lance know how to play a futuristic guitar, if ever there was one? And if so, what would he say to the Voltron crew? Oh, great question. Um... Does he know how to play the futuristic guitar? Well, I mean, I don't know about like space guitars. He's probably probably learned. At the very least, I feel like he plays, you know, the, the guitar that we have on Earth. I feel like they're probably the same in the future. I don't know how they there's only so much you can do with a guitar. So yeah, I think he I think he plays the, the guitar of the future. I think he totally does. Um feels like something he would do. You know, he's very flirty. So it's you know, guitar is a good way to flirt with people and serenade. Uh and what would he sing to the Voltron crew? Um, what's something space related? Uh, I, no I, I, um, I know, yeah. Uh, maybe, oof. uh, well, I've been going with a very beach, beach theme here, this whole, uh, this whole thing, uh, lots of surfing and beaches and stuff. So maybe he'll pull out some oldies, you know, some classic earth tunes from the beach boys. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Beach boys. <laughs> I play the Beach Boys. What the heck? What the heck? That's just a personal favorite of mine. I have no idea if he likes that music. Probably not. He's going to now. He does now. He freaking does now. He loves the Beach Boys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Star, you are awesome. Thank you so much for your question. <laughs> Thank you, Star. <laughs> awesome. Okay. We are going to shoot on over to Keon. I believe that's how I pronounce that. Keon, is that correct? Definitely not correct. No, I'm just kidding. It probably probably not. He's probably really upset at me. Probably not. He's Keon? probably pretty triggered. He's I know. I would angry. be. People butcher my name too. and it upsets me. No. People butcher my last name all the time, but I actually don't really care. I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um... Actually, I wanted to ask you real quick. Is that a Winter Soldier pop on your bottom shelf? Is that a Winter Soldier pop on my bottom shelf? Why? Why, yes, it is. 
I have one, one of my, my shuffle favorite, for there. Uh, one of my favorite characters. He's my Winter favorite. Oh, oh my god, oh, yeah, yeah, he's over there with my Steve, and like I have a ton up on that shelf. They're like my favorite things in the I, world. Okay, that's awesome. I don't know why I don't have a cap too, because that cap's probably one I of my faves. Um, I, I just have a very small pop collector right now. Actually, um, this guy, my little vision here, is actually uh, signed by Paul Bettany, which is very cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I met him at a uh, at a Comic Con in the uh, the Philippines that we were at. Um, super cool guy, super nice guy. Oh. Are you gonna come back down to Tampa Comic Con? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm scheduled to come. Was that earlier this year that I did that? Time is so weird. Well, because I know uh, there's one coming up in August that I'm going to, so it'd be really cool okay. if you were there. I don't think I am this August. Um, but I last time I was there, it was really great and I had a lot of fun. So they're potentially. I don't think this one because I think I'm at a different place. Uh, I'm yeah, bouncing yeah. around a lot in August, but I don't think it's I'm this all right. one. I was just um, wondering. But I think in the future I'll be probably coming back to that one because it was really good. It was a lot of fun. I love yeah. those, those people that run it are good people. So my question was, who are your biggest music inspirations for your band? Ooh, very nice, Keon. Very nice question. Uh, my biggest music inspirations. Uh, I mean, I have a lot for me uh, individually, but specifically for our band, I think. Uh, Everything from Fall Out Boy to All Time Low, uh, My Chemical Romance. Oh my god! Um, a little bit of them. I mean, I mean, uh, kind of a lot of stuff in the kind of yeah, the the kind of punk alternative uh, pop rock range. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, a little Thirty Seconds to Mars. I know we're we're big fans of, um, and then. Uh, I don't think, uh, I think, yeah, I think those are, those are pretty, I think those are like the really, um, really obvious ones there for sure. And, but then on top of that, we just have a wide range of stuff that we listen to. That's nowhere in that genre either. Um, everything from like kind of classic stuff from journey, um, to more modern stuff like 1975 to, um, yeah, lots of very, we have a pretty wide range of stuff we listen to, and I think you can hear it in our music, but I think those, oh, yeah. the four ones that I listed first are probably more cornerstones for yeah. when we started doing that kind of punk alternative pop rock. I definitely hear, like, the early Fall Out Boy, because I, like, grew up on Fall Out yeah. Boy, and, like, Linkin mm -hmm. Park and Breaking Benjamin and all them, and, like, oh, Mad Chemical yeah. Romance is, like, my all-time favorite. Oh, Yep. Linkin Park's, <laughs> Linkin Park's up there, too. Yeah, they, uh, I've listened then, to them the yeah. longest. I was supposed to see them last year. It was really sad. I know. Rest, rest in peace. That same. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking. Of course. <laughs> thanks for talking music with me as well. You're, I can see your guitar back there. Yeah, Obviously, you're very uh, musically inclined. Yeah, I uh, I do piano, and I'm trying to teach myself guitar. This was my dad's guitar, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do it up. Is it, cool. Thank you, is Keon. Is it Keon or Kian? Which did Kian. I totally mess that up? Kian. It's Kian. Yeah. Yeah, well, I thank am, you, Kian. I, I messed it up too, yeah. so <laughs> it's all right. That was it's at my right. lead, so I messed it up. It's so all right. It's all right. It up, I get so. it. It's all right. All right. Mm -hmm. Just have an issue that appreciate it and appreciate your question. Thank you. Juice, awesome. Of all right. Uh, up next, we're going to try Nikki again. Uh, Nikki is filling in for Natasha. So, um, Nikki, where are you coming from today, and where is Natasha? <laughs> Natasha is sick, and she's all the way in Malta, and then I'm coming from Delaware. Well, you... Wow. I'm sorry that she's sick. That's no fun, but uh, nice, to, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Of course. How's, how's life in Delaware? Tiring. <laughs> tiring. Tiring. Always That's tiring. That's honest answer. That's funny. <laughs> I like your paladin hat. It looks very good. Thank you. Of course. So uh, my question is, or Natasha's question was, what does Lance's relationship with Pidge look like? I think the only time we've seen them hanging out one-on-one -on -one is at the space mall, but they seem to get on well when they hang around with Hunk. True. True, true, true. Um, I think theirs is a very much like, I, I always, I always, especially I'm um, acting scenes with um, where there's with Lance and Pidge. I always feel like Lance and Pidge almost have a very kind of brother sister relationship um, that kind of, it's like, it's kind of like a little bit, there's a little bit bickery and stuff, but there's just that kind of that underwhelming love there. 
and that closeness. But then there's also still things that they're very similar on. Um, they're both obviously um, really into like video games and stuff. So I think they both kind of nerd out over over video games together. Um, I think that's probably. I, I always love that. Like that's kind of a thing that's they're kind of close to each other on is like that one thing. I think everybody probably in the you know out of everyone has that one thing. I think for them it's probably like video games. Um, and then that's more or less where their interests kind of, it's, that's where it ends basically is after that, they're like, not alike at all. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably what they're, I think that's like what they bond over. Um, and I think that's kind of their relationship. They're very, they're very kind of teasy towards each other, but in, in, you know, with good intentions. Typical sibling relationship. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Cool. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Of course. Thank you, Nikki. Tell Natasha we say hey. Hope she gets better. Yeah. Yes. Will too. Definitely. Loving the Ed Sheeran on your wall. And definitely tell Natasha we, we have well wishes for her. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we have, and I hope I pronounced this correctly, I think it's Sreya. Is that right? Please correct me. <laughs> uh, it's right. <laughs> It's oh, I pronounced it correctly. Yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you did. I know people get confused because there's no H, but yeah. Nice Go to meet you, Soraya. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> where are you? Where are you coming from? Uh, so right now I'm on vacay. I usually live in Cal. I'm I'm in California, but like right now I'm oh, in for India. Sure, for sure. So. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> But you're usually from you're is... usually from 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 California. So you're usually from my from my yeah. area, my neck of the woods, for sure. Yeah. How is how what so, time is it in India right now? Right now it is five forty six a.m. Ah, oh, that is that's bad. <laughs> Not my yeah, favorite time I'm to be awake. Lag. That's true. That <laughs> that is very true. You're probably yeah. pretty awake actually. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, good, to, good to see you all the way from uh, from this side of the this side of the world. What is that? What was your yeah, question, so, Soraya? Uh, my question is, uh, what would Lance's mindset be when he uh, meets his family next season? Which it was confirmed they're going back to Earth. So, yeah. So that's not that's not me spoiling the show, as so many people think. I don't just throw out spoilers willy nilly. Uh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a confirmed thing that's happening. So. Cool. I don't feel bad talking about that a little bit. Um, what does mindset be when he sees his family? Um, I think he's excited just to see. I mean, it's been a long time since he's seen uh, his family in any way, shape, or form. Um, and so I think he's definitely just excited to see um, where they're all at, catch up with them in their lives. Um, I think. I think especially. I mean, everyone's close to their families, but I think Lance especially, um, his specifically family unit is very large and, and very 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 close and so i think um i think it probably hits him the hardest being away from home uh so yeah i think he's just excited to see him i think he misses him like no other um is excited to kind of show off what he's been up to um it's pretty cool what he's been doing i think <laughs> so i think he's excited to have them meet the rest of his kind of new his new family and his new uh, his new team as well for for sure and just to make sure that everybody's doing good at home thank you of course. Thank you. Thank you so much, Soraya. All right. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have another really challenging name, and I'm going to do my very best. I oh, think it is. Here we go. I know. I think it's Najazali or Najazali. Is that correct? <laughs> um, no, it's Naj. Naj it's Najali. Naj. Naj. How do you pronounce it? Nejali. Oh <laughs> it's Nejali. 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 Yeah. Yep. You got a whole gang of people with you. Who's yeah, there with you? Gang of old fans. Awesome. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what was you guys' question? Okay, so do we have one question or do we have a like who's that who's asking? Um, she's asking, okay. and she's okay. gonna ask a quick one. Awesome, go for it. Who's up first? Oh, okay, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the red lion and Keith have a lot of natural chemistry. Um, is that something the show will be pursuing with Lance and the red lion as well? Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how much of that will show or not, but, uh, I think that, I think, yeah, I think every paladin that, uh, when they're with the lion, they definitely, even to get chosen by that lion and basically be allowed to even pilot the lion, I think there's obviously some chemistry there. Uh, and so, yeah, I think we'll see a little bit more of that. Um, I think probably some of the strongest, like, lion bonds we've seen have definitely been, like, with Shiro and Keith in, in the black and red. Um, and then I think even Lance in the beginning with blue was pretty was pretty cool. Um, but I think we'll see a little bit more of him with uh, with the red and, uh, and that, that, that yeah. bonding, as you mentioned. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, and who's our next questionnaire? Um, yeah, who's up next? Cheers. Awesome. Hey. What, what, what is Lance's favorite food to eat? What was What's the question? Lance's what is Lance's favorite, favorite food to eat? Food to eat? What's Lance's Ooh. favorite food to eat? Good question. Um, what is his favorite food to eat? Probably, hmm, I feel like uh, probably a nice big burrito. Like the best just everything in it, like an everything burrito is probably, I feel like he's a, I feel like that his teenager metabolism can make that work. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a nice, tasty, delicious handmade burrito is probably his favorite food to eat. <laughs> and pizza, yeah, pizza's good too. Awesome. All right, guys, you were fabulous. Thank you so much for jumping on. Mwah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have Jenna. Jenna, much easier name to pronounce. Uh, where are you coming from today? Oh, Jenna, where are you at? Jenna? No. Yes, no. Maybe All so. Right. No? No, Jenna? All right. Maybe she's a little bit shy right now, so we're going to come back to her, and we're going to jump over to Alexis. All right. Alexis, Alexis, where are you at today? Indiana Goshen. Indiana. Nice. Indiana. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold mm -hmm. on a second. I know you. What's going on, Alexis? It's been a while. I've seen, I, I know you. Good. You have... Uh, you came and hang out with us on one of our uh, VIP days for Makeout Monday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good to see you again. How are you? I miss you. <laughs> we miss you, too. You're awesome. How's your fam? Good. My grandma, she died. Aww, oh, I'm no. sorry to hear that. So I'm still a little distraught. Yeah, for sure. Alexis, what was your question for Jeremy? My question was, I love you. That's not a question. That's a statement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. That's I was trying okay. to trick you there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure My he appreciates was... that. Of course I do. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, thanks for popping in. Do you have anything um, else? But... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you follow me on Twitter? Say what? I could. What did you say? Can Will you follow, follow me on Twitter? Twitter? On Twitter? Ah, oh, good question. <laughs> um, what is your what is your Twitter handle? Alexis Marie Six. Spelled the will, traditional will, way. Spelled the traditional way. <laughs> I will look it up. Thank Bye, you, Marie Alexis. Six. By the way, Marie spelled M A R R I E. R R. Oh, gotcha. so I was wrong. I've been wrong a lot today. It's okay. <laughs> and my mom had a question too. Okay. But she's Is not she here, there? so oh. she's not here. She's at work. Okay. Okay. Do you want to ask um, it for her, or was that it? Yeah, I'm gonna ask it for her. Go, Go for it. She wants to know. She wants to know when are you and your band gonna come to Chicago? Ooh, um, when are we gonna come to Chicago? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I think. Um, 
I think we're trying to set up a we're trying to set up a tour for um eh, probably not I don't know if we'll do later this year or not um we're trying to set up a tour like kind of a midwest um tour sometime either probably probably be early next year maybe uh and so we'll see if we end up being able to make that work but we eventually eventually we totally will i just don't know exactly when yet because i don't have specific uh specific dates lined up but i think we're eventually going to try and do that chicago's a great city so we want to definitely try and play there so you'll have to keep your eyes peeled alexis thank you <laughs> awesome thank you so much <laughs> we're going to shoot over to angela and angela where are you coming from today Angela? Angela? Hello. Hello. Oh, there she is. Can you hear me? There she is. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Hello, I can hear you. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, you're good. Where are you coming from, Angela? <laughs> um, Southern California, San Diego. <laughs> oh, for sure. I love San Diego. I'm about to be in San Diego in like uh, a few weeks for, um, for San Diego Comic Con. I'll be there for, for Voltron and Adventure Time. Ooh, I might see if I can find you around the convention. <laughs> I'll be there. It's hard to find anyone at that convention, even when I'm looking for someone. There's so many people, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it really is. It's wild. It's like our craziest weekend. Angela, what was your question for Jeremy? Um, my question was, um, do you think that Lance would speak in Spanish around the castle to make himself feel closer to home because he's been gone so long? Oh, good question. Um, I want to say, I want to say, yeah. I mean, that actually, that makes, that makes sense to me. Um, I don't, I wonder if he, yeah. I, was, I mean, he definitely, I feel like he definitely speaks. So I feel like a lot of people in the future probably speak multiple languages too. So there's, he's got to speak Spanish. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he totally does. He probably, I feel like, I feel like he even, Maybe not just him, but I feel like a lot of them too would probably um, record little like kind of um, kind of like diary messages type things, you know, so they can like if they could yeah. send them to people back home and stuff. So I feel like if he's doing that, he probably totally would. Um, so yeah, I would say yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. Yeah, he's such a sweet boy. He would. <laughs> exactly, he totally would. He's a, he's a sweetie. Yeah, well, thank he you, is. Angela. You're going to have to keep an eye out see if you can yeah. find Jeremy in San Diego. I'm going to keep an eye out. Sure. Thank keep you. an eye out, yes. Right. Thank you for joining. All right. Next up. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, this is an easy one. Next up, we have Holly. <laughs> Holly, where are you coming from today? I'm from North Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. Hello, Holly. Hello. How are you? Yeah. I'm good, thank you. I actually had something that I wanted to show you. I got okay. a tattoo in February, and I wow. have a little lamp on my arm. Oh <laughs> my goodness, that it's is super cute. It's kind of hard to see, but, but yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. It's you awesome actually have a, nice you have a Lance tattoo on your arm that's real? Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Awesome. That is amazing. That is awesome. Thank you, Holly. I feel so flattered that you would... Do you do that of uh of, of my character? That's awesome. And I see your little uh, I see the Lance and the Keith plushes back there. Yeah, I have them too here. I'll show them a little closer. There's him. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I know, right? Love it. Okay. Okay. So my question was, what are the kind of traits that Lance admires in people? We know that he, mm -hmm. you know, puts his love for his family above a lot of stuff. Um, and yeah. he'd probably like that in other people. But what are the other kind of traits that make him think another person is, you know, a good person or someone that he wants to like him? Ooh, good question. Uh, I think, like you said, the family aspect is probably probably up there. Um, I think someone who is, I mean, he's around a lot of, I would say, good people by his parameter too. You know, people that are, um, they're looking out for, for, I think the biggest thing is people that are looking out, um, for everyone, you know, uh, I think being selfless people that aren't just concerned solely with themselves and that are looking at the, the greater good is probably something that he, uh, he finds, uh, to be the best, the best quality. Um, and then, you know, uh, people who are fun, people can have a good time and see the, see the, the funness in the situations. 
I think he, uh, you know, he, he jokes a lot and stuff. I think he likes people that are, that are, uh, he's like a, what's the word that I'm looking for? I feel like he tries to take the tension down with like stupid kind of jokes and stuff at times, which, uh, <laughs> which is, well, I feel like that's like me in real life too, a little bit. Um, you know, I, 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 I mean, serious conversations are, you know, they need to be serious at times, but I think there's a good, there's a good way to take down some tension with a good, with a good joke. Uh, a good lighthearted, good spirited joke here and there and stuff. So I think that he probably likes that in other people too. Um, and just, I think he likes people that are honest and truthful and just, you know, have integrity that know where they stand on things and that are, are very clear about that. Um, you know, he sees kind of Shiro as this role model who is very much that way. Um, and so I think that's probably a good, a good barometer. I mean, he sees the same thing. I think in like people, even like Laura, um, for sure. I think he sees, her that way and and hunk obviously is uh like the best person on that whole on the whole team he's the nicest guy on the whole team so yeah. that's probably would be it i think that's awesome thank you so much you're welcome thank you're you welcome all. so much thank you yeah. all right next up we have Lindsay. Lindsay, where are you at today Lindsay. oh Lindsay, where are you at Hello. She's hiding. Oh, no, she's, she's not hiding are. anymore. Can you hear me? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm in Massachusetts right now. Massachusetts, awesome. Yep. And I have my cat you with me. You have so many. I made sure he was oh, on the bed. <laughs> what's your cat? Called? What's your cat's name? His name's Peta. Peta. Is that after the Hunger Games character? Uh, no. It actually or... um stands for pain in the butt, but with an A. <laughs> 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 yeah that's awesome that is the perfect name for for a cat <laughs> yeah and he shuts all over the place so it's perfect yep awesome for sure <laughs> yeah that's so um cute. so before i ask my question i just wanted to say um one of my friends on twitter bridget she proofread my question so it sounded good so i just want to say thank you to her real quick oh for sure shout out to is it bridget you said bridget yeah Bridget, yeah. Shout out to Bridget for proofreading this question. So obviously, it's probably it's probably pretty nicely worded. Then I assume. Um. It, yeah. It's kind of long too. So just <laughs> bear with. <laughs> That's me. okay. Okay. Um. So can you comment on some of the parallels that came in season six, like how the meeting between Crolia and Keith's dad and the finding of the blue line by them seems to parallel the beginning of the show with Glance going after Keith after an explosion, and then the both of them being the only ones to actually step up to the blue line and her big and her barrier and essentially how the blue line brought Keith's parents together and also team Voltron together. Wow. That is, uh, <laughs> that is probably one of the more deep questions I've heard, uh, yeah. related to <laughs> the Voltron. That's, that's, I like those though. Um, that's great. Uh, I think the, I think there's always parallels. I think especially, I mean, the, the writing team, and our creators, uh, Joaquin and Lauren, I think they have a ton of that stuff. If you watch the whole series, there's so many, um, there's so many parallels and some of them are like, like you said, are like kind of, they're long spanning too, even from something like the first episode to being like in season six, I think. Yeah. Anytime you can have parallels, I think as a viewer, um, there's just that kind of, uh, unspoken kind of symbolism behind those scenes when it, when, you know, there's a parallel with an earlier scene too, and it kind of has that emotional resonance and weight to it. Uh, and so I think that's really, it's a rewarding thing too. It, and, you, and you feel the, um, the journey that the characters have taken when you've had those parallels to kind of recall you back to the earlier parts of the show. And so I mm -hmm. think those are always intentional. I don't think you, usually I don't think those are coincidental because especially if you're writing something and then you write it and we have seasons that are airing when they're, you know, farthest of the show, um, you're kind of going back and going, Oh yeah, we did that. And then, you know, yeah. sometimes you're like, that's a cool scene that works as a good parallel for what we're doing now. And so I don't think those are usually unintentional. I think those are usually pretty, um, pretty intentional when the, when the team puts those in there and they're always, they're always cool. I think that type of stuff is what makes a show really great. Um, and what makes it rewarding to watch it, uh, you know, all the way through is cause you get to see the world that's being built from that first episode, even to season six. So, yeah. Yeah, one of the small ones that I noticed um, is during the Montres and Mana one, Lance says again, mm -hmm. maybe you just have to knock. And I thought that was cute too. Exactly. Yeah. I love <laughs> that type of stuff is always, it's always funny. It's funny in the moment, even if you forgot that that was a thing that happened earlier on. But then if you, you know, if you're someone who has watched the whole time and you, and you get that reference, 
that type of stuff is super rewarding. I love callbacks to just like earlier moments, especially when you're farther through the show and the characters are a little bit different, you know, you kind of call back to where they came from, which is always great. So I love that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome so much. Thanks, Lindsay. All right. Next up, we have Keely. Keely, where are you coming from today? Oh, Keely. Keely. Okay. I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hello? Yes. Yes. Oh, so yes sorry. Question for Jeremy. Uh, my question is, um, which moment in season six of Voltron was like the most special to you? Like any favorite moments or anything? Oh, that's hard. Um, relating to just the season itself, not in, not with including scenes from my char character. I think just in the season as a whole, I think one of my <laughs> favorite moments in this stuff, when you see it come together and the show's finished, it's so much easier to understand like what's happening as a viewer than even when right. you're recording sometimes. You're like, because the script, like it, it, just having the visuals in place with everything, it makes so much more sense. Um, and so I think one of my favorites is uh, uh, just, uh, just it just visually is awesome and it's an emotional scene is the, uh, is the scene between Shiro and Keith um, when, uh, like, uh, when Keith is tracking him down by himself uh, and I, well, I mean, it's the Shiro clone basically, and they're uh, and they're fighting, and, and and then all the flashbacks, and when Keith sees him in like the kind of weird uh, black lion headspace, that's like one of my favorite moments of the season. I think it's just so cool, it's so well done, so emotional. Um, that one's awesome. And then specifically for Lance, mm -hmm. um, I I love the the season. I love the moment. There's a lot of good moments actually. I mean, it's not an emotional one, but there's anything in the Monsters of Man episode is just funny. Uh, but I think one of my favorite things is probably the, the scene with, um, with, uh, with Lance and Laura after the low tour thing. And she's kind of, she's kind of down and he's just kind of encouraging her, uh, and being a really good friend. Um, I think that scene is, is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites to act too. I love acting those type of scenes, especially with Kimberly. She does such a great job and the whole <laughs> cast too. Um, but those scenes are always fun because you get to just really kind of sit in it for a minute and then you're playing off each other and, uh, I'm trying to just make something really real. Um, and so I think that scene is one of my favorites. Your voice acting was so powerful this season. I just got to say it was wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I tried to. I tried yeah, to. Was here and there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you did, so I, lo I love the little like laugh you did in Monsters and Mana. I just God tear. That was wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, you, the, the one, <laughs> like the maniacal laugh? Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that whole episode is probably one of my favorite episodes to record. And I think for everyone, so too, funny. we had so much fun doing that one. I was so excited for it to finally air. Um, it was fun doing the original one. Then when we got to do ADR and see the animation done and then, you know, like fill in all like the action sound and stuff. Ah, it's one of my favorites. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It was so wonderful. much, Keely. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Keely. Yeah. You're awesome. Welcome. Uh, Next, we have Taylor. Taylor, where are you coming from today? Hey, I'm in Nevada. You're in Nevada. Oh. Hello. Where in Nevada? Oh, Reno. Okay. Northern Reno. Yep. Yep. Awesome. All right. What's your question? <laughs> question for Jeremy. So, Jeremy, considering all the acting and singing you do, um, yes, I'm sure your your voice your voice gets a workout. And how do you how do you keep your vocal cords healthy? All that. It super duper 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 does um how to keep my vocal cords healthy uh well there's there's i think there's different parts of it too because when i'm doing um act when i'm doing singing that's even more um it's obviously more more technical and you have to have your voice be in a better shape when you're doing singing than anything else um right. to stay on pitch to make sure it doesn't sound tired and so whenever i'm doing a, a band rehearsal or a concert or show or anything to do with uh singing professionally uh, warm ups before you sing, or I do those every single time um, for about five to ten minutes of like vocal warm ups. Specifically for singing, um, just getting, just kind of waking up your voice, and uh, and then when you start, when you do singing after having warm up, uh, your voice is stronger for longer, and it can take a little bit more. Uh, and if I'm doing a ton of singing over the course of like a lot of days, I just probably won't talk as much <laughs> during the day um, as much as I can. <laughs> And, uh, and then when it comes to doing like VO work and the, the acting side of it, I don't really do, um, a whole lot. Um, I've, I've actually, have, I have pretty good endurance in my, uh, in my throat and, and for, so I can, I can speak for pretty long amounts of time without it getting tired. 
Um, mm -hmm. What I definitely do is like, if I start to kind of get a little bit of sore throat though, I definitely have my like go-to fixes for like not getting sick basically, or at least if I get sick for like minimizing it. Um, and so I'll drink a lot of, uh, Ooh, hello. I'll drink, um, <laughs> I'll drink a lot of like lemon, uh, ginger tea and I'll put some like honey in it. Um, and like throat coat, uh, for just to kind of keep my, uh, my throat good. Uh, and then a lot of vitamins and, um, and other things, uh, to keep from getting like full on sick. And then, uh, just keep my nasal passages clear. Uh, all the fun stuff. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't really, my voice doesn't really go out a ton when I'm recording, unless it's like a freaking four hour record of like pure screaming, then yeah, your voice is, <laughs> is going to be gone. There's not a whole lot you can do to, you know, to make that not happen. But I have a pretty good endurance. So, I mean, vocal warm ups for singing and then uh, just drinking some good, like, uh, warm tea with honey in it for, for the other is kind of what I do usually. There you go, Taylor. Voice lessons from Jeremy. So, uh, yes. there you, you can put them to use. <laughs> You're welcome, Taylor. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, next up, we have Celeste. Celeste, what is your question for Jeremy? Celeste. Oh, um well, like, my question is, like, kind of, like, basic because um, I was going to end up doing something extravagant or, like, something like, um, how's the basement? But, uh, <laughs> so, uh... The basement's great. You know, we got everything in the basement. Yeah. Air, AC, uh, you know, we got full Netflix. You know, I can just stream some shows down there. It's awesome. <laughs> also, like, I want to say, like, you're a really amazing person, like, Honestly, like you do so much. You're on uh, your uh, what's it called, um, Mr. Student Body President, which is amazing, and oh, you're on Voltron, you. and and you have a band too. So like you're so underappreciated, and I love you so much. Uh, well, thank you. That means a lot. I appreciate you for saying that. You guys are awesome. So you guys have the best fans in the world. Okay, so um, what was your least favorite subject in school, and what was your most favorite? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> oh, that one's that's probably one of the easiest questions I had ever least favorite i know that's on my head math 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 by far least favorite um especially in the upper echelons of the math world i just uh i mean beyond like basic math which you obviously everyone uses and is, is extremely helpful yeah. everything beyond that i was just like i'm never gonna use this i had like, i was i was also not good at it not only did i have no desire to do it but then I also wasn't good at it. So it just like it equally was just which is bad. I like I didn't understand it well. I probably had bad teachers growing up too. Um, but it was just not it was just not my thing. I absolutely hated it. And so it was just like if I got like a passing grade, I was like, great. I don't care to get like a good grade. Everything else though, I was really good at. I loved uh, I think my favorite subject was probably history. Um it's all that's I don't know why, that's always been interesting to me. Um history uh english i was good in english was easy i mean yeah history and english were probably my favorites science i enjoyed too sometimes i got like confused because there's so many terms that sound like other terms and so it's hard to like remember certain things but i history english and science all great i just absolutely hated math so that was that is that was pretty much it thank you celeste <laughs> thank you celeste awesome moving on to i think it's alaya Aliyah, what was your question for Jeremy? My Hi. Oh, hi. Hello, Aliyah. Aliyah. Oh, what was okay. So, I thought the end of um, well, of season three of Mr. Student Body President. So, like, they uh -huh. have to, like go to camp or something like that. How do you think yeah. their experience will go? Oh, it's gonna go terribly. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think it's going to go badly in the best kind of way. Um, actually, uh, speaking of for everybody on here, so you might, I don't know if you know this or not yet, but season four of student body president actually just came out today as a surprise. Um, and oh, so that's pretty you cool. can go, that, yeah. yeah, you can go watch season four of Mr. Student body president. And if the rest of you, if anybody hasn't seen any of it, you can watch all of seasons one through four on uh, go 90 uh, dot com or on their app for free but yeah the, the fourth season came out today so um go watch it because i think the first two episodes i think are them at uh at them at, the, at their little like kind of summer retreat thing um and they're ridiculous they're some of my uh i think they're really they're really really funny they're those episodes are great they, they obviously you know tyler's new student council is a bunch of freaking weird 
<laughs> crazy people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and they, they have a, they have a, they have a good time, but it doesn't go exactly how Tyler would want it to, but it, it's great. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm glad you guys watched the show. Thank you for that. And thank you guys for the question. We appreciate you joining in. Thank you, Elia, and her brother, I assume, probably. Yeah, I brother, imagine. Sister, probably. Yeah, best friends. Yeah, for I got, sure. got the head nods. Got the head nods. Um, <laughs> all right. We are going to move on to Caitlin. Caitlin, what's your question for Jeremy? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, can you hear me? That's not your question, right? Yes, I can. I can hear you. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. I can see you too. What's up, Caitlin? Hi. <laughs> I'm nervous. How are you? Good. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask, I'm a big fan of Ultron and the band. Oh my God. My like face awesome. is like getting red. Um, <laughs> what, like, do you think like, and if, oh my God, if Lance was in a band, what, like, what do you think? Are, like, what do you think? Uh, what, what would he do in the band? Like what instrument? Like what? Actually, you know, I just musician? realized you answered a question earlier about him playing the guitar. <laughs> I feel like he would probably play play the guitar and probably do some yeah. some singing. I feel like he would sing too. I feel like yeah. I feel like he he probably is like kind of singer guitar player. Um, mm-hmm. I don't I don't see him being a drummer really. Um, and I play bass and, and sing in real life, but I don't even see him playing bass necessarily. I feel like he would definitely play you know electric uh, or acoustic or like just guitar uh, and and sing probably. Yeah, I've always thought of him singing and play the guitar. I'm I'm actually an artist and I one time I animated him playing the guitar oh, awesome. and singing. Uh one time I think you sang Lucky. I yeah. I think that's the song. By Jason Lucky. Yeah, 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 and I like Yeah. <laughs> I love also, that song. Do you like that song? I bought too? this just Yeah. I bought this just for the occasion. <laughs> Sweet. That's so uh, cool. Uh, from from Voltron. Like, Remember the joke where like Lance was like a twenty sided die? Oh, exactly. I think that's hilarious. I oh, love yeah. that whole episode is funny to me because I even growing up I played a lot of games that had like twenty sided dies with my brothers and stuff. We played a lot of tabletop stuff. So I you know, but people who like don't play any of those types of games have no idea what that is. So I just think that's yeah, I love that. Yeah, I always <laughs> thought like I I never knew what a twenty sided die was until like I watched that episode, which no. is weird. <laughs> You're like, what the heck is a 20-sided die? Us us <laughs> mega nerds know what those are. <laughs> also, thank you so really much, Caitlin. I have backpack. Oh, oh, very nice. I love it. Looks great. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank nice you. to meet you, Caitlin. Yeah, thank you so much for <laughs> jumping on. Um, next up, we are going to go over to Kelly. Kelly, what's your question for Jeremy? Oh, Kelly? Do we have you? Maybe not. We will come back to Kelly. Um, we're going to try, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's pronounced. Kelly. Oh, no, there's Kelly. Last minute, Kelly's man, here. saved by the bell. Whoa. Kelly, what is your question for Jeremy? I'm not getting the uh, I'm not getting the audio here. Uh, you know what? It's... Neither am I, Kelly. Hang tight. One second. We're gonna try that again. Um, all right. Let's it. do this. How about we come back to you, Kelly? We're gonna jump over to I believe it's pronounced Aslin. Aslin. Uh, what's your question for okay. Jeremy? <laughs> it's it's Aslin. It's weird. Aslin. Aslin. No, nice to meet you, Aslin. Much better. Yeah. <laughs> So I hear you have a what very question? important question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Can I switch my question? I did not know how this works, and I asked the stupidest question in the world. It's about fruit. I don't know why. <laughs> there is no such <laughs> thing just... as a stupid question. I just There's like... only stupid answers. But no, I'm, no, I'm kidding. Are you sure? Um, <laughs> there, no, you, any, honestly... I like having really weird and not in a, a weird questions are great. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Yeah. So okay. what is your question? Are you, okay. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Extremely important. It's, it's mm. okay. Do you prefer pineapples or bananas? 
Oh, yeah. shoot. Oh, man. Oof. That's a hard one. I like all fruits, but I do like them both. I, I will say I like them both, but prefer... Uh, mm -hmm. I think... Mm, uh, I, th mm. I think I eat bananas more often, but I actually think I prefer the taste of pineapples. I just don't eat them as often. Um, but I think I think I like pineapples Me better. Too. I think I do like pineapple better. I think pineapples are pretty. pretty uh, it's a pretty good. Answer. I think it's underrated fruit. I think pineapples <laughs> pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, thank <laughs> thank you, Island, yeah, for exactly. bringing up the very much needed <laughs> important debate about fruit. Seriously, that was the true. best question by far. Yes. I love that question. Uh, so we're gonna the shoot over ones. Yeah, they're important. Um, they're we're going to shoot over to Gabby. And Gabby, what's your question for me? Hi. Um, I was just wondering, is there ever going to be a live Voltron action movie? Uh, is the, yes. Uh, is there going to be a live action Voltron movie? That is a great question. Nice to meet you, by the way, Gabby. Um, I I think they were... they. Uh, I think that... I think they were developing one. I think that's the, I think eventually they're supposed to be one. I obviously have no, you know, I have no details or info about that myself. I have, I'm not like involved in that, uh, in that process. That's by different, uh, it's by the, whoever the studio is, that's working on it. But I think they were trying to, I think that eventually there probably will be one. I think, I think they were looking at the, uh, kind of to see how well this show did before they kind of start expanding into other, um, into other venues with the kind of the whole franchise and stuff. So, and this show has been doing awesome, by the way. Uh, it's been killing everyone. You guys have been loving it. And so I think the chances are probably better than not. that They'll try and do a live action something with it at some point. I don't know exactly what form that'll take or how far down the road it is. But uh, I think there will be one. I hope so, because I would love to see one. Uh, I would love to be in one. I would gladly be in a uh, live action Voltron movie. That would be amazing. I would play, I'll play any character, any and all of them. You know, if I could play Lance in a live action one, that would be super, super duper dope. But um, we shall see. So if you guys want that, then uh, tweet it, uh, DreamWorks or whoever is, uh, uh, I think DreamWorks is involved. I don't know what studio is uh, has the rights to do that. But uh, yeah, tweet it then. Be like, yo, make this happen. And maybe they'll make it happen. Thank you so <laughs> much, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. You're awesome. All right, next up, we have Elaine. Elaine, what is your question for Jeremy? Ooh. Elaine, I know you're there. We get, we're going to hear you can any you hear second. Me? Yes, uh -huh. we can. No, I can hear you. Okay. Um, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Don't um, freak out. My question is, um, what Hogwarts houses would you sort the Paladins or the other Voltron characters into? Great Great question, Elaine. I love it. Um, I would probably, I think Pidge would be in Ravenclaw. Yeah. I think uh, I think Hunk would be in Hufflepuff. I feel like that makes the most sense. Yeah. Uh, I think Coran would also be in. Yeah, I feel like Coran would be in Hufflepuff as well. Uh, Lance. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like Lance would assume that he would be in like a, I feel like he would think that he would be in Gryffindor, but I don't know if he actually would be. I feel like he's not <laughs> smart enough to be in Ravenclaw. Uh, I'll say, I'll say Lance is actually, yeah, I'll say Lance is in Gryffindor. What the heck? Um, Shiro is Shiro's super Gryffindor. I actually feel yeah. like Keith would be in Slytherin, but he would still be a good guy. You know, I think he would happen to be in Slytherin, but he's still a good dude. Uh, and then Alora, Alora, I'm thinking either. Mm, I think Alora would probably be in either Gryffindor or Ravenclaw, one or the other. Um, I think that makes that makes the most sense to me. But I think all of those are fairly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> yeah, Thank I you think so it fits their personality types. Yeah. Thank you, Elaine. Right. All right. Next up, we have Naya. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Naya, what's your question for Jeremy? Hello. Um, well, my question, I think I'm surprised you picked it. I, it's kind of funny, but okay. Um, it's um, since we learned that Lance can milk cows, which uh, for me, when that happened, I wasn't expecting it. So um, <laughs> what other, <laughs> so um, what other hidden talents um, does he have? 
I'm hit, I mean, being able to milk a cow is definitely a hidden talent. That is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> what other hidden talents does he have? I think that I think Lance is a ridiculously good dancer. I think he's got the hidden talents of being a, a professional dancer. I feel like I feel like I mean all all forms of dance. I think he's good at, but I think specifically, I feel like he'd be like a really good um, kind of like ballroom like salsa dancer. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that would be yeah. I feel like that's one of his hidden talents for sure. I feel like he could definitely do that. That's what I think. I like your question, Naya. That is a great question. Where are you coming Thank from? Thank you. <laughs> I'm from Missouri. Missouri, awesome. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Well, thank, thank you, you Naya. Naya. Thank you for a great question. It's great to meet you. You too. All right. We are going to jump back to Kelly. And Kelly, what is your question for Jeremy? Hope you can hear me now. <laughs> yes, I can hear you now, can. yes. Awesome. Um, my question was, as your voice actor, but also an actor, I was wondering, mm -hmm. since there's a lot of chances you could work with some of your favorite celebrities or... Oh. Or fandoms like Marvel, I've seen like you follow a lot of actors and such. If you were given the chance to do so, who would you want to work with and why? By the way, Kelly, uh, I love your question. I just want to say that at the outset, that is an awesome question. You were you were great. Uh, that is awesome. I think that given the opportunity, I think my fit, the person that I would want to work with, I think beyond anyone else. Um, it's just someone I'm a huge fan of personally, just as a person in real life, this person, and then um, them as an actor as well. Um, I, I would love to work with, uh, with Chris Pratt. He's one of my, just like probably my favorite. I'm like such a huge Chris Pratt fan. Um, that would be, that would be awesome. He just seems like a cool guy to like hang out with in general in person, but then also he's an awesome actor. So, uh, that would be super cool. And then obviously, uh, as far as like what like kind of fandom and stuff, the Marvel, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is is fantastic, and is uh, I've been a big, big fan, big nerd of since the since the outset. I've probably seen all those films countless times. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm right there with you online. You know, looking up the theories as to like what things mean and stuff. Like all, yeah, mm -hmm. me and my friends talk about mm -hmm. it all the time. So definitely, the, the Marvel Universe would be would be super cool. Um, I think those are probably the two uh those are the two two things yeah i think that makes yeah probably that i'd say that there's i mean honestly i'm a fan of so many people though that i would love to work with like anyone i, I love working and and there's so many great people so it, it's hard to narrow it down but i think my top two would probably be marvel universe um and and, and mr chris pratt he's pretty awesome <laughs> kelly that was a great question thank you so great much question. thank you for waiting and patient shoot. appreciate it yeah, yeah, seriously. This is a hot commodity to talk to Jeremy. So uh, we're Thanks, going yeah. to scoot on over to Isabella. Isabella, what is your question for Jeremy? Hi. Okay, so my question, it's kind of hard to word it. Um, okay, so before you have said that you have enjoyed doing like anime screaming in past episodes. So yes. would you ever consider dubbing anime? <laughs> that was a great question. I love your, I love your Keith, uh, Keith jacket, by the way. <laughs> What's going on to, you, to your homie over here, to your little brother, I, I assume? Probably siblings, yep. yes, maybe? Yeah, yeah for Samuel. sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, I love those, like, epic kind of anime action sequences that we have. Those are super fun for me to voice. Um, so, yeah, if I, I mean, if I was given the opportunity to, to voice one, uh, to, to dub, like, a little anime work for something that was fun, yeah, I mean, I'm always, I love, I love working, so I would super, super be down to do it. I don't know if... Uh, I don't think I've ever really done that. Bes I mean, besides, but Voltron's not dubbed because we're the, um, it's American anime, so we're the original. And then uh, it's, and it's, most of the world is us. And then I think there's certain countries that dub ours, but um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be down to do it for sure. Mm -hmm. Good question. Thanks, yeah. Isabella. Thank you, Isabella. Our, uh, next up, we have Ash. Ash, what is your question for Jeremy? Hello, uh, I, me. I have a friend with me. Is it okay if we each ask a question real quick? Real quick, of sure. course, yes. Real quick. Okay, Tag, you go first. <laughs> um, we know you did some backgrounds, Bebo Bees, in the Voltron show. Can you do one yeah, now? Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> what were you saying? Do Are you able to do one for us now? Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Let me let me see if I can uh, brush off my uh, my Bebo Beep. Um, <laughs> Bebo Beep. beep. I think that's kind of, that's how it sounds, right? If I remember correctly, yeah, it's it's literally just a. Uh, 
people be. That's what it sounds like, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, okay, we uh, then, that was those are those are always ridiculous and fun. Yeah, the whole cast, like when we have stuff like that, if there's if I do background stuff, usually we're all doing background stuff and it's <laughs> it's hard not to laugh when you're like watching each other do these ridiculous uh like Walla and filling in background voices. It's so much fun though. Okay, and then my other question is, uh, what's your favorite song off of Visions of Hollywood? Good, good question. My favorite song off of uh, Visions of Hollywood, uh, for those of you who don't know, is my band Makeup Monday's uh, debut album. Um, I think my favorite song is probably, probably Every Little Everything um, is probably my favorite one. I mean, closely with Kissophobic, those are probably my two faves. Um, but I've... I, for different reasons, I like obviously a lot of them because we made them obviously and there's a lot of work put into it. But uh, I think those are probably my two faves. So, yeah. Thank you guys for your questions. Very awesome. All right. Second to last, uh, we have Laura. Uh, Laura, what is your question for Jeremy? Um, hi. I have two things to say before I say my question. It's super quick, I promise. All good. Okay, um, first of all, Jeremy, you're so cute and you're so sweet. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you as well. And second, this is really random, but um, we have the same birthday. Like, I found out Oh, that January 21st? Recently. Yeah, it's so cool. Are you also 97? No, I'm a 2002. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay, for sure, for sure. But you got, nine, you, got uh, you got January 21st. I think it's the best birthday in the world, personally. A little biased, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so my question was, based on their personalities, what kind of music taste do you think each paladin has? Ooh, good question. Um, uh, I, <laughs> I feel like, um, mm, I don't really know. Gosh, that's hard, actually. Uh, I feel like Lance definitely listens to like, a variety of things, probably stuff that's more in like the kind of pop area with uh with some kind of like um i feel like he listens to a lot of kind of pop and stuff but then also like kind of acoustic um driven driven mm -hmm. stuff maybe some like latin um some kind of latin uh, music would be probably i feel like he would like um pidge uh i have no idea i feel like pidge probably does some like kind of techno maybe a little bit <laughs> yeah. maybe a little bit of indie, indie music as well um hunk uh i have absolutely no idea what music he, he would listen to uh, i feel like he would listen to more chill music though probably some kind of chill like uh jack johnson uh while he's like cooking and stuff uh and then shiro uh, probably some like classic you know like kind of classical like just instrumental like violin orchestral music so if you like you know to kind of calm down and then, uh, and then Keith is just all hard rock and heavy metal. He's super emo. Yeah, all punk music for Keith. All the all the emo, all the emo music is just Keith's domain. And then Alora and Coran, I don't know what they listen to on Altea, so I have no idea. <laughs> that's that's my best random guess as to what they like. Great question. Thank you so much, Laura. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. All right. Uh, I don't know if you remember Jeremy. Just a little while back, we had Lia on. She actually stepped out of a Harry Styles concert and had a little bit of a tough time with the internet. But she did wow. that just to talk to you. So we're going to go ahead and do her question as crazy. a shout out. Right. And you can you can just answer it. Um, she awesome. says, "What is the spoiler that was the hardest to hold back for for this upcoming season?" Oh, geez. Uh, good question. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Alia. Whenever you watch back, obviously. Thank you for for taking time out of a friggin' Harry Styles concert. That's pretty crazy. That's that's dedication because that's got to be an awesome concert. So thank you. Um, <laughs> and I think the hardest spoiler. I mean, they're all hard uh, because especially like how long you have to like not be able to say something. And, and then for us when we're recording, it's hard because we're, we get so used to certain spoilers just being a thing between the cast and the creators because like it's we, we've known it for a long time. And so for us, it's casual. But for the fans, they don't know. Uh, I think probably one of the hardest ones for Voltron was uh, not not saying that Pidge was a girl before the first season came out, um, because that was like you know obviously it's a surprise like midway through the first season. Uh, but then we also had pressure from people being like, well, why didn't they just make Pidge a girl and stuff? Like, there needs to be more like more females in the show. And we're like, uh, I can't say why you're wrong about this, but just watch the show. 
uh that one was probably the hardest and then like it was so nice when the first season came out and we're like yeah Pidge is a girl don't have to worry about uh you know trying not to refer to her as like she basically because it's like a spoiler at the beginning um that was probably the hardest one and then uh and then you know trying not to spoil if shiro was actually like dead or not in season two was hard all of them Those, they're, they're all really difficult not to not to talk about especially when you're like yeah i worked with josh the other week so obviously he's not you know he's not dead or not gone from the show um so they're all they're all difficult i think the pigeon was probably one of the one of the hardest though for sure all right thank you alaya for stepping out of that concert and there you have it um, thank you to everyone who uh, was on today. We know that the, <laughs> Jeremy's so Golf popular class. and everyone was so patient Golf and waited. And um, we appreciate every single one of you joining us today. Um, Jeremy, this is your moment to go ahead and say whatever you'd like to say to yeah. the fans before we wrap up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys all for watching and for participating and just being awesome as you continue to do. I love all you guys. You guys are the best. Thanks for continuing to watch uh, Voltron which obviously there's going to be much more or a lot more of coming you guys' way at some point. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, student by president, like I said earlier, four seasons came out today. So if you haven't watched it, try and check that out on Go90. If you can, if you're in the U.S., I think it's not international. I don't know. Uh, maybe on, I think you can do it on iTunes internationally or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, just be on the lookout for, for upcoming stuff from, uh, from, from me and other such things. And, Again, I love you guys. You guys are awesome, and thank you guys for just being the best, and I, I'm glad that you guys continue to love the things that I work on because it is fun to, to do them. So give yourselves awesome. golf claps. That's you right, pats on the back. Stars. Oh, look, everyone's doing it. All right, thank you guys again so much for joining <laughs> us on another amazing fan cast with Jeremy. Please be sure to check out the app and look at Jeremy's channel for all kinds of great things, insider series, upcoming fan cast contest giveaways and of course you can always watch this stream back so that you can see what went down um of course mm -hmm. follow us on social and i am your host samia uh, remember to fan smarter not harder and thank you all